Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Silkland USB-C to DisplayPort cable. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is a USB-C to DisplayPort 1.4 cable. This is unidirectional. So you plug this into the USB-C out on your device and then DisplayPort on your monitor. So this works with things like MacBooks, Surface Books, Samsung Galaxy. It would be the models that support video out over USB-C. This also works with some of the iPads that have the USB-C video out. So this supports up to 8K 60 Hertz. It supports HDCP, that's the High Definition Copy Protection 2.2. So I checked the Amazon description for compatibility with other devices. So let's get this open. And here we have the cable. So you can see it's a braided cable. That's going to make it more abrasion resistant. It's going to make it more durable. It has caps over the ends. Let's pull those off. Looks like there's a little bit of shrink wrap over the end too. So this is the six foot or two meter variant of this cable. There you can see the display port. So I'll be testing this out on my Mac with an M1 processor connected to my Dell monitor. So I found if I use an HDMI cable to hook that up to the monitor, it doesn't support RGB mode. So a cable like this should support that mode. So we'll check that out. And using that RGB mode gives me better black levels on my monitor and it makes the text look a little bit sharper. And that's just the way it encodes the different protocols and stuff. I'm not an expert on that. I've just tested it and noticed the difference. So I'll go get this connected up and we'll check it out. Okay, I'm at my computer here. I have my Mac mini with the M1 processor. I have the Silkland USB-C to DisplayPort cable plugged into my monitor. This is a Dell ultra wide monitor. And I also have an HDMI cable plugged in from the Mac mini to the monitor. So I'm currently running off the HDMI cable. So I'll go in here to the settings. And if we look at the color space here, it's YPBPR. Now it seemed like I could just go in there and change that to RGB, but if I try and do that, the color's all messed up, so that does not work. And I've tried restarting and everything, it's just I haven't been able to get it to work. So now I'll go in here and I'll change to the display port. And here we can see the color space is RGB. So RGB is going to be the native color space. And here's a sample of text. This is just the YPVPR Wikipedia page. And I don't know if the difference is going to come through in here. So the RGB is going to give you better contrast than using an HDMI cable with this setup. Now some monitors you can change it to RGB, but I found with this setup and lots of other Dell monitors and probably others that use similar firmware, you have to use a DisplayPort cable to get the RGB mode. So that's the Silkland USB-C to DisplayPort cable. Now I just highlighted an issue with the Mac Mini. I don't know if this affects the Intel, but I know in my situation, I had the issue. I also don't know if it would affect PCs or whatever. But when you use a cable like this, you ensure you're going to be able to support all the latest standards. And everything's going to USB-C now. So this cable would also work well for Surface Books and there you know, might be Chromebooks and things also that would support this cable too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.